Hi! Today I received this beautiful Mercury switch, so I want to show it to everyone. This device consists of two switches, as you see on the nameplate, together with one energizing coil. So this is the energizing coil, and the two switches are these two glass bulbs, partially filled with Mercury. So this device is installed in, in that position. So under normal condition, because of this weight, the switches are tilted that way. So the mercury is in this side of the glass tubes and there is no connection between the terminals. But when the coil is energized, this one is moved downward and the mercury flows toward the left, creating connection between the two terminals. Now, this coil, you have to energize it with 24 volt DC. It has 160 ohms, so it draws a little bit of current. And then two switches, the connections are here, 220 volts maximum and 20 amps for each of these switches. Now I'm going to show you the, the operation of this switch. Okay, so here I have prepared the setup. This is the power supply. I set it at 24 volts. Here I can energize the coil. And with the multimeter, I check whether the switch is open or closed. Obviously at this moment, the switch is open because I have not energized the coil. So now I'm going to energize the coil. So we see that um, the coil draws nearly 150 milliamps, which is quite some current, but considering that these switches can operate uh, at 20 amps, so that is okay. And uh, we see that the resistance of the switch becomes nearly zero. The value that you see there is just the resistance of these uh, wires. Um, yeah, this is how it works. Now it's very interesting because I touch this wire when I, when I disconnect the coil, I also get a tiny shock because this is an inductor. When I open it, it produces an over voltage. But basically this is how the switch operates. It's Let me show you also from the other direction. Okay, so from vertical position. All right, bye.